Hey guys, I uh, ran into a bit of trouble trying to uh, program the ESC for the eFlight Apprentice STS 15E 1.5. So let's go ahead and bypass that um, smart startup. So I'll just show you, uh, we are on timing one. Uh, we've got about 68,000. Alright, let's go into programming mode and get that up to timing five. Disconnect cables, disconnect battery, receiver off. Alright, now I've just got a battery pack here with some batteries. Just rigged up from an electrical store, real simple. Alright, I'm just going to plug the power cable in to the flight controller. Plus positive, and then negative. Here we go, that's on. So, not too sure if you can see that. That is hard to see. That is plugged into the minus and plus and resistance plugs right and there those two top ones I like to plug the positive in first and that way I can just sort of squeeze that negative in all right that's good to go receiver on all right safe modes initializing Alright, let's plug the battery in. Alright, battery's plugged in, full throttle. Half throttle. There we go, programming mode. Alright, we want menu number three. The timing. Try it up. We're in. Select that one, half throttle, done. All right, I'll disconnect the power from the both cables from the flight controller first and then the battery pack from the ESC. So I'll do that now. Receiver off. All right, it's all just connected. Then we'll connect it back up, not worrying about safe mode or anything, just to power it on. And then I'll show you the RPMs. So, positive in. Negative in. Battery pack on, receiver on. Check the RPMs. There we go. A little bit higher. Alright, there we have it. So I'll just disconnect everything and give you a little bit of rundown on what I've done.
Okay, so battery pack here from Electrical Store. Here we go, triple A's. And just a couple of leads there. And then what I've done here for the ESC. Looking in here, I have actually taken that power cable out from the ESC cable there. As you can see, so that doesn't get power from anything. It does what I want it to and powers up when I want it to. Yeah, so it just gets, oh, I'll just pull that out. There you go. You can actually just get a little, little tweezer in that middle clip there and just lift that cable out and then wrap it up in some tape just to pull it out of the way and that will allow you to power things up as you want. And then bypass the safe mode, allowing you to get into programming mode to get better performance. Alright, I'll put some things into the description and hopefully that helps someone. Thanks guys.